Hello, I'm Dr. B. Welcome to Beloved Blackness, blog 52. I know my appearance is not how I typically show up for these vlogs, but there's a reason that I'm doing it on the heels of taking a morning walk, much needed morning walk, to just kind of center in, take care of my physical self, but also my emotional and spiritual self, some time to just pray and clear my head. But I've been missing um, um, sharing the past couple of weeks. And so I thought, hey, what a perfect opportunity um, to talk about why I've needed to take a couple of weeks off. That one of the ways in which we've been socialized, um, deeply unconsciously socialized as people of African descent, is to ground our personhood in our doing and not our being. And so if you just think about the impact of an enslaved um, history in terms of our ancestors having to work the fields. Literally, they could give a, a bales of cotton or whatever it was that was the source that they were working on. And the enslaver would say, hey, oops, sorry, too short. And they'd be punished for that. And so to have that in our wired, in our DNA, that Whatever we produce is never enough. Phew, it takes a lot to overturn it. It takes a lot to say, wait, 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 wait. My being, my sense of myself as a person who's worthy of love, respect, and dignity just by the sheer fact that I'm alive, um, it's counter our internalized oppression. And so the last couple of weeks, um, at least one and a half weeks for sure, <laughs> I've been really intentional about slowing down slowing down to connect to my being so that I could see what has been underneath the doing. Although excruciating to have to face some of the depths of emotions and thoughts and um, experiences about myself, so liberating to not have my doing serve as a cover for what needed to surface. And so I just want to invite you this week to um, just reflect upon, even maybe spend some time meditating on how does your doing cover up some really valuable parts of your being and it may be some parts of your being that you don't want to face right because that's how the last week has been for me parts of my being that have been excruciating in the face and having to come right alongside of what has been exposed and to offer myself loving kindness self-forgiveness self-compassion and to allow that self-compassion that self-forgiveness not in some perfect way because it still feels like a wrestling match at times, but to allow it to come and soothe. And so um, I invite you this week um, to think about what is it that may be difficult to face within yourself. And I'm going to use um, the spiritual, the song, Wade in the Water. God's going to trouble the water. So sometimes God needs to trouble the waters of the ways in which we have um, covered up what needs to be faced. And so I'm gonna invite you this week to go into those troubled waters of identifying what about your doing this is getting in the way of you connecting to your being? What is at the, the ground of the ocean or the sea? Whatever the waters are trying to cover up, what's down there, what's at the bottom of that? that needs to be uncovered, that oftentimes those waters get in the way because we don't wanna face it, we don't wanna feel it, but they need to get troubled in order for us to go deeper. So I invite you this week to hold space for yourself, to hold space for those who need to come around and surround you, because we can't do this work of facing ourselves by ourselves. But the only way that we can truly connect to our deepest belovedness is by facing the troubled water. So I invite you to wade in those waters, um, bring forth support, love and care, self-compassion, self-forgiveness in the face of it. All right, I'm Dr. V. Until next time.